Hi guys, welcome back. So as you guys can see, the loft looks a little different. I actually took out that walk-in and that's now fully extended the loft. And that walk-in actually wasted a ton of space in the loft. Actually a whole square meter. And with me taking out that walk-in, it actually allowed me to add another 15 perches to the loft. As you guys can see, there's another 10 perches. Also in that row, I added another five perches. Also up there, also one perch, a nice long perch. And yes, perches, the more perches you got in your loft, the better, because pigeons don't like fighting over perches. So my loft currently has 76 perches and I'm planning on keeping around 50 pigeons in this loft. So 50 pigeons, then they'll have an extra 26 perches to choose from. So. 26 extra perches in the loft so that's nice as you guys can see i also got two long feeding trays in this loft and i actually have already made another one so i'm gonna have three feeding trays and that will allow the pigeons to have an easy time eating not with the lack of space and they'll just be so much more comfortable so right now i actually got a few strange pigeons in this loft as you guys can see these three pigeons there's also this one and then there's another one. Let me quickly search for it. It's not over there. There it is. So you see that one with the orange and yellow band. They are actually pigeons who have been in my breeding loft for about five to seven months. I actually got them earlier this year. And because I trained my pigeons for racing season, I couldn't settle them in to this loft easily. And now because racing season is over, I'm actually settling them in as we speak. So what I do is I actually like to put them in the aviary, especially just before I feed them. Then they can learn how to trap. So if they don't trap, they don't get food. The first day it was a bit of a struggle, but the second day it went really smoothly and it just got better. So I'm settling them in. They have been in this loft for about a week. I'm planning on keeping them in for another week and then opening them up. As I said, I have been in my other loft for about five to seven months. So they should be settled in on this location. I just need to settle them in in this loft. So, as you guys can see, there's also some breeding going on. This pigeon is actually on a baby. And that little baby is actually an inbred baby. As you guys can see, his one eye is actually shut. I don't know why. You might have a case of one eye caught or someone just pecked him. But as you can see, his other eye is normal. And this pigeon is actually an inbred. It's between this pigeon and this pigeon. They are actually brother and sister. So just an experiment which I'm trying out. His nest mate is actually down here. I actually transferred this egg. Because every youngster in my loft wants to have eggs. I actually got these two so they can raise a baby. And this pigeon is the nest mate of that pigeon I just showed you. Both pigeons should be red pigeons. As you guys can see, the mother is red. And the family has a lot of red. As you guys can see, there's their aunt. And their other aunt is somewhere around here. Not in the aviary. But there she is. So they both should be red pigeons, as it looks like now. And yes, those are direct inbreds between brother and sister. I'm doing an experiment because this is my first year racing. I've never inbred pigeons, so I know the value of inbred pigeons in the stock loft. So that's why they won't be racing those two pigeons. They are actually bred for stock. Over here I also got two little checkers. And they are actually from the breeding loft. I actually transferred eggs from the breeding loft to the racing loft. And they are being raised by two youngsters. That one over there and also that's the end so they are raising those two pigeons and they are actually doing a very nice job let me just show you guys something that is what my pigeons do just when i stand in the loft they sometimes fly up to me this one does it a lot and actually his brother also does it his little brother which is this one over here he also likes to do that those pigeons are actually some of my tamest birds so yes the loft is a lot more spacious and I think the pigeons really enjoy that as you guys can see. Look how they sit on the new perches and as I said in the afternoon there's some nice sun coming in and they really enjoy that. Look at that pigeon and Ozzy. Ozzy is actually a naughty dog and sometimes like to go at them. He luckily I've never caught a pigeon before so that's good. 
But yes, this is just an update video on what's currently going on in this loft. So racing is finished and in my other loft there's a bunch of breeding going on. Some cool colors. And my next few videos will most likely be about breeding. So be sure to check out those videos for the breeding. I got some really nice colors and I don't think you guys would want to miss that. So, that's what currently is happening in this loft. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.